Podiatric surgery is focused on the management of conditions of the foot and ankle that require surgical intervention. This can include patients who present with bunions, known as hallux valgus, or patients who have rheumatoid arthritis or diabetic conditions. As with all branches of podiatry, the key part of podiatric surgery is the assessment and the diagnosis of the patient. Your GP can refer you to the podiatric surgery team. Your consultation with a member of the podiatric surgery team will involve them asking about the problem and its history. Having a holistic approach will include both a medical and a social history to ensure all the information they need will be available. Additional investigations such as x-rays may be requested and then reviewed with you to talk through and determine the problem you have. The use of other scans and or blood tests may be undertaken. It is not always necessary to operate and other treatment options will always be considered and discussed with you. One such treatment is a steroid injection for painful joints and this may be undertaken alone or in conjunction with other interventions. The comprehensive assessment and diagnosis will allow you to clearly understand your options before your consent is discussed. It is an important part of the surgical process. There are a number of different surgical options when treating conditions of the foot and the appropriate one will be decided on when planning your procedure with you. At all stages along the way, you will have the opportunity to ask questions. As part of the assessment and planning for your surgery, your GP will be kept informed of all clinical management decisions and your progress. One important discussion is if you're going to have your surgery under local or general anaesthetic. Procedures done under local anaesthetic allows for quicker discharge home on the day. Your foot will remain numb for several hours afterwards. There are different methods for administering a local anaesthetic. This may include a local infiltration, an ankle block, or one that is done behind your knee, known as a popliteal block. The procedure of choice will then be undertaken and will involve a team of people on the day. If you're having a general anaesthetic, you will have a meeting with the anaesthetist who will confirm that you are fit to proceed. Your consent will be reconfirmed to ensure that you are happy to undergo the operation. The theatre will have various members of the team who have specific roles as part of your surgery. At all times, your safety is their priority and you may be asked to confirm your name and date of birth on several occasions. The length of the procedure depends on the specific problem you have. At the end of the operation, you will have a large bandage placed on your foot and may have a surgical shoe to protect the area. The time it takes to make a full recovery from your surgery will depend on the exact procedure you have had and this will be discussed with you prior to any treatment. Following your operation, you will have a number of review appointments with members of the podiatric surgery team. You may be asked to complete a post-operative questionnaire about your surgery and this forms part of the auditing process within podiatric surgery. 